going on everybody Z here and welcome back to some more astro colonies so in the last episode we started getting a uh, well kind of getting a ship design going here and um yeah we're, we're working on things we're getting things done uh we're slowly but surely getting there a uh, couple goals this episode so i'd like to get the other side i'd like to get this other platform like just framed out at least to this point right here so that way we have some symmetry here and then what i was also thinking is we need to uh, i think we need to expand off the back here and the reason for that is because we need some propulsion we need to be able to move the space station and instead of just throwing thrusters down wherever i mean we could we could throw them down like right in here um i was well actually we might actually just we might actually just try that we might actually just build like a little area right in here to throw some thrusters in the front and the back right here off of these so that way we can actually move around because we are going to need to get planetoid side well i mean i guess i could just fly over here like this huh like that that's really nothing uh, because i need limestone <laughs> i need some limestone in order to get anything uh in order to get some like glass and stuff like that so um do we have is there any limestone here let's see i think this is limestone if i'm not mistaken like i thought it was this uh lighter color stuff right here maybe not i got dirt Yeah, I thought the limestone was this like lighter color. Maybe not. I mean, I guess we could always hand mine it if we need to, huh? Planetoid carbon deposit. Planetoid carbon deposit. Iron deposit. I don't know. Hmm. All right, we'll come back to that anyways we got some wings to put on here we got some propulsion stuff to do we got a whole bunch of fun things to do because we got to get uh, we got to get rolling on some of this stuff now the propulsion i believe if i'm not mistaken do we already have it or do we okay yeah we already have it so electric thruster and quartz build thrusters to move your colony through space then we need some quartz as well so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get some of those things going um but like i said i want to get this other wing kind of thing thrown on here first and then we'll go from there but as always if you guys enjoy the video maybe leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already we are so close so close to that half a million subscribers is absolutely insane so okay um yeah i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna let things run for a little bit and i'll probably do a little bit of building myself just to kind of get this like lined up um yeah, it should work out pretty good though. Shouldn't be too crazy. All right, so we've got the other quote unquote wing on here. Um, so as you can see, I mean, we got something here. It's looking like, it's looking like something, right? It is, it's looking like something. So uh, it looks better than just kind of sitting like it was. <laughs> now I want to go ahead and you know what, just to uh, just to keep like, you know, the momentum going here. I actually want to do um, the back part now too. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that a little bit just to frame it out, just to kind of get an idea of what's going on. Just so that we, you know, we can, we can see some progress because being able to see progress is really nice. All right, so we've got some more framing done. Oh, I mean, I'm actually really excited about this. So we got some more framing done. We got, like I said, the wings over here. But we'll check this out. So what we've got going on here. Now, I know everything is like in rectangles and things like that, you know, sharp corners, whatever. It's fine. It's for now, like we're, you know, we're trying to get the main shape. Uh, we can always smooth out and stuff like that later. We can always add. I don't even know if there is really any smoothing, but essentially what we got is we got two levels so we're gonna have the main level under here um these two levels right here i think we're going to do um i i think i want to keep the human stuff either down here or maybe on the top and then do like deep like more manufacturing like below manufacturing is gonna be on one level and then like human stuff's gonna be on another level so we gotta figure that out and then back here we're gonna have a couple platforms um i think we might expand this out just a little bit bring it up bring it over uh, and then this is where our, our essentially our engines are going to be you know this is kind of like the back of the ship if you will so maybe you can kind of see like we're gonna, we'll box this off we'll get some engines in here and kind of hopefully go that route but you know it's it's all just super boxy it's all super um early in developmental stuff but just kind of getting an idea of what we're going to do here and as we go along we can start filling things in making things a little bit better but 
uh what i need to focus on now probably more than anything is we gotta get propulsion because we can't i can't use the tubes uh we need tubes because tubes can move items straight up and down but i can't make those until i can make glass and in order to make glass i need uh the quartz I think it's quartz is it quartz yeah i need quartz and i can't get quartz unless we go to a planetoid and i can't move to a planetoid unless we have engines so that's kind of why i was like throwing these here i was like okay well maybe we can get um maybe we can just get some basic framage in here and get some engines on here for now and just kind of see how that goes and then and then just go from there i guess so but another thing we need we have bill yet is we need a hydrogen hydrogen maker so we have oxygen generator but we need a hydro generator, which is going to produce hydrogen and hydrotonic. Um, so we need some steel wire for that. Do I have any? Let me go ahead and grab that. Let's see, what are you making? You're not making anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's grab 16 plates. Throw those in there. I'm trying to keep on top of stuff. I'm really, really needing to get these these things going, these factory pieces going right here, because this is uh, I mean, it's working. And, and things are going okay, but like, <laughs> I want faster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want it to be faster. I should just leave this thing running for like a day and then come back and have like all my inventories full of everything. Oh, that'd be so nice. Okay, so now that we have the wire, let's go ahead and a hydro generator. Where in the heck are we gonna put this? Because this is going to use, I believe it's going to use water in order to generate hydrogen. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's do this here. Let's grab um, floors. Let's grab a pillar. Let's do that. And then let's just grab another floor. do something like that just for the sake of getting this here and then i want you basically directly above this okay now what do you need so you need hydrogen tank needs carbon and water okay so what we'll do is we'll hand put carbon in here for now and then uh let's go ahead and get water do i have the stuff for water i do Okay, so there's the water, and then for power... Um, how are we gonna bring this out? This way, maybe? Just like that? Yeah, that works. Okay, so we've got those. Let's go ahead and grab some carbon. Any of you guys that super full? 150, 150, 413, 85, and 90. Okay, you are the winner. We're gonna split that stack, and then we're gonna throw that into here. So now I can start making hydrogen, which we will then use for thrusters, I believe. I believe that's how that works. So again, temporary situations, but we'll get it. Uh, yes, thank you. I've done it. Go back to sleep. <laughs> so we've got some hydrogen tanks being made. That'll, that's good because we need to utilize that water somewhere because our tank is super full. Actually, I bet you it's completely full. I bet you, yeah, 244 ice. We haven't been generating water for a while. All right, so now what do we need for um, electric thrusters? Build thrusters to move your colony through the... All we need is three hydrogen to make thrusters? That's kind of crazy. That's kind of wild. No, no, nothing else, I guess, huh? You're now ready to discover planets. Check the space map and start moving using electric thrusters. So here's our map. And let's see, carbon, iron, what do we not have? Do, you, do these seriously not have gold carbon? I mean, this one has a little bit of everything, um, but I need limestone. So maybe that doesn't show up on there. Okay. All right, so we're going to let this go ahead and make it stuff for a little bit because each thruster, if each thruster requires three, 
we're gonna need uh, a little bit and i think we're gonna need we need some kind of command uh chair or something let's see where is is it logic device control panel to remotely control all thrusters to find optimal oh oh it's gonna make us do this by hand isn't it is that what we that's what we had to do before hmm yeah, navigation <laughs> to remotely control all thrusters. We have to unlock the advanced engines and computers and all that before we can even do that. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So you know what we'll actually do? Since we are gonna have to control these by hand, I'm gonna probably gonna put like a row of them right here. And because where do we wanna go? So are we just trying to go to, I'm trying to see like which one, which one are we? Planetoid carbon deposit. Is that the one that we want to go to? Planetoid carbon deposit. Planetoid carbon deposit. Unless it's trying to take us to like the actual, like an actual planet, like right there. Hmm. That one looks huge. That one right there looks much bigger. I think maybe we'll try to go to that one. All right, let's get some thrusters made here. So let's go ahead and, oh, uh, these all have to be connected to power too, don't they? Yes, they do. All right. Okay, so we've got those. Let's just go ahead and get some in here. Now, the reason that we're gonna only put them front and back is because these can actually shoot to the side up and down, but they obviously can't fire backwards. So, uh, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to do that, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and get these connected. Oh, shoot, these are already on. Oh no, we're moving. No, 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 no. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, <laughs> we already started moving. No, we already started moving. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> I didn't think they were just automatically gonna turn on, okay? Jeez. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fire these bad boys up. So these ones I have adjusted to all, to thrust down, so that way it will lift us up. So I want all of these to be going up, and then these ones are gonna be shooting back because we need to go backwards towards that guy. Uh, and then we'll readjust once we get there. But let's go ahead and let's get, um, I want to try to get, okay, there we go. So those are all going, no, okay, so I want, I thought the thrust direction was going to be going down. So, but this is, I want the direction of us going. Okay. So it's kind of, it's a little bit different than what I thought. Okay. So I want to be going up. There we go. And, oh, you're still not connected. Well, that's not good. There. So now we should be going backwards as well. Oh, I feel like we're cruising. Holy moly. Did they increase the power of these things? Cause like, I don't, I feel like before these were not nearly this fast. Yeah, I don't remember these things being this fast. I feel like they, they definitely kicked up the power on these, holy moly. Cause we're, we're gonna make our way over to this planetoid right there. Ooh, look at those things coming in. They're coming in hot. <laughs> All right, we're getting close. Oh man, is there already stuff on that? place over there that is huge looks like there's already things on there i'm curious to see what's over there all right so i feel like let's go ahead and get this one set up not down there we go let's go ahead and get some of these adjusted like trees and like giant rocks or something up there all right we've definitely gone down far enough or up far enough let's 
go ahead and kill some of these. All right, looking pretty good. Trying to come in a lot slower here, though. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. That is a planetoid right there. Okay, awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and turn this off. All right, let's go take a peek. What do we got here? Exploration visit planet. Oh, this is actually a full planet. Nice. Construct harpoon connector. So now it wants to connect a harpoon connector. Um, I wanted to see if I could find... I need, we need more quartz. Um, I want to get some quartz going here. Is this ice? This looks like ice right here. Ice cubes. Haha, -ha, yes. Uh, what do we got here? <gasps> yeah, we got some quartz, baby. Let's go. So what we need to do is we actually need to set up our, um, our harpoon thing. Now, I wanted to set it up in the front. So when we, we just pull up to a planet through the front, connect up, and call that good. What is this? Rock. Two of those. Okay. Because I don't know if there's actually a way to turn your station. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if there's a pivot. I think there's only... I, I don't think you can. I don't think you can pivot it. Oh, so we don't even get glass until we get actual people on board yet either. So I feel like we still have a lot of building to do on the ship before we can even even use the planet. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, we're already here, which is good. So now what I can do is basically just focus um, on getting the things built that I need built here and getting places ready because all of this needs deconstructed pretty much uh because we're going to do all of our um you know intermediate or beginning refining in the wings here and then we're going to pull resources from there into other areas to you know do further refining so i'm just hoping i'm building this thing big enough it might not be big enough but you know we'll, we'll figure it out we don't need it to be super huge you know all right, so I am starting to get some of this stuff laid out here for our first wing, and I'm trying to decide on how I want to set things up. So I want to make sure that I set things up to where we can, you know, process all these materials and all these minerals or whatever. But I also want to make sure that we can offload. So whenever we connect to a planet, we can bring the materials from there and put it into the same system and still utilize it. Now, we're going to be getting advanced smelters here soon. Uh, well, I say soon with quotes next to it because we still need, we need, we need the people science, but that will allow us to do some things. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I believe they're the same size as these. So I don't think it'll be a, um, a size issue. I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay. So what we need to do here is... I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do this exactly because I need I know that I'm gonna be using pipes to go straight down um, but using a belt until we get the pipe is probably what I'm gonna have to do hmm all right so this is what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna go ahead and grab a warehouse we're gonna grab a base warehouse and we're gonna throw that in here. Now, what I want this to do is to essentially be just the bulk offload storage of everything. So if I put that there, that should work. And then we're gonna connect everything. All raw resources are gonna go into here to start with. And then from here, they're gonna go out into uh, their respective areas. So, the resource we're going to have coming in basically carbon iron 
copper, gold. Um, we're going to have ice coming in there. We're going to also have uranium eventually. Aluminum. Actually, here, let's pull up the map. We can see, basically. Uh, where are we? Because we are right. So, aluminum. Eventually, we're going to have uranium. So, all those can go into here. And then we can sort. We can put filters on here. to allow for only certain things to go certain places um uh, you know what do i want those front i actually you know what i want that front section i want to be able to access those uh those front ports all right so i want to be able to access these front ports right here so even if i can just bring one line in right here that'll work and then i think we can also go into modify and we can actually swap the conveyor points so we can have more going out than going in which is good in this situation because this is the raw resources going in there's probably gonna be two belts going in total so that will work um and then let's see let's just go ahead and let's kind of get let's just kind of get some stuff laid out here uh we're going to be doing a lot of rebuilding especially once we get faster belts uh yeah <laughs> especially once we get faster belts for sure you know i just realized if i have a belt going through this i think it's going to try to output to this one right here which means in reality, I need a <laughs> needs to be two away. Okay, so that would be the belt coming from wherever, you know, going into here. Now we need to get this belt line going down into here. And so we're going to do a temporary thing here. Okay, so for now, everything's going to go this way and down around into here <laughs> like that eventually what we'll do is we'll probably end up having a pipe coming down from here straight into um oh you know what i just realized i need to swap those again uh probably a pipe going straight from here into one of these and that'll that'll probably be all we do so all that's going are these on are these actually on the belt nope we're waiting for those to get done okay cool now this holds quite a bit so what we need to do is we need to get first a line of smelters going i think i think a line of smelters going smelting some basic things and then um we need the water being processed as well but i don't exactly know where i want the water try and decide if three i think three smelters is, is enough for these uh because this smelter right here has absolutely no issue keeping up with all eight of these there's eight on here so that's three times as many to deal with but we are going to have the um the the resource coming off or, or from planets as well but i think we'll be okay i don't think we're gonna be bringing in that much and i don't need to scale up super crazy so what we can do here let's go ahead and grab a belt I'm going to put a belt there, but then I'm going to go ahead and grab a, we need a filter block. So blocker pusher filter. Okay. So I'm going to put a filter right here and we're going to allow iron, copper, gold, aluminum, uranium, Oh, oh, okay. So we can't allow everything that we need immediately. Okay, you know what? That's fine. We'll do this. Put another block here and we'll only allow this resource. And then we'll just connect these two to the same belt and then they should be fine. So we'll let this come out here. This can come out to there. And then that can come out there. And then we can run these belts back along here and then split it, let them split. And then that should work. That should work. That shouldn't be too bad. That should work just fine. We'll get these all powered up. And then these will all go to an output. The output will be another warehouse, I believe. Uh, but the warehouse location for that one, I would also like to use the tubes. And I'd kind of like to figure out if I'm going to have them down here or up here. 
and i'd like to have like you know a couple warehouses that just have you know all the basic resources whatever but uh yeah i know i know that's what you want me to do i'll work on it i promise eventually So those will work there, but the other stuff we have going on, we've got, we've got more stuff going on here too. So we also need, um, oxygen generators, constructor, smelter, hydro, lab manufacturer. See, these are all, these are all tier two things. So we don't really need those. So I'm kind of thinking here. We need to, we, we're also going to need to do something with the carbon because we're going to have a lot of carbon buildup if we don't do anything here. Um, and we really need to get, we need another ice maker. We're going to need an oxygenator or ice crusher. Where is the ice breaker at? Oh, right here. Okay. So let's get this set up. This needs to go in here somewhere. And I'm honestly thinking two of these wouldn't hurt. Hey, look, the floor's finished here. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Let's get that icebreaker. And let's figure out how we want this thing. So why don't we go ahead and why don't we do something like this? And like that okay so we'll do something like that and then for the water oh you know i just realized that's not gonna work because for the looks of every yeah this isn't gonna work because these stairs right here are gonna be running pretty much this entire length here to make it look more finished <laughs> yeah i mean we do have this little area right here but i'm also trying to think of where we're gonna put the water tank itself Okay, we're just gonna put them in here like this. Got an idea. It'll it should work. It should be fine. And then let's go ahead. A oh, water cell. We need the uh, we need to be able to make the water cell. And I only have sixteen iron bars right now. That's fantastic. I think they're all being turned into plates right now. They are. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and split that. Take these real quick. And let's get a water cell put in here. So. I'm literally going to go like this. You know, what's interesting is that it won't let me build on top of that. Huh? I wonder why it won't let me build on top of that. I used to be able to make a, a big cube wood before. I guess it can only sit like that now. I, you know, I honestly, I honestly have no idea. Kind of interesting if you ask me, but uh, let's go ahead and get these connected in. Like that. And then power. We're going to be running power from the ceiling. Um, power is going to be coming straight from up top. Because that's just going to be the cleanest way to, uh, to deal with it. Just like a so. Yeah. Okay. So those are all powered. Everything looks good. Now, those are plumbed. Those are plumbed. We gotta get belts going. So what I think we're gonna end up doing with the carbon is I think we're gonna end up having a carbon app out port and it's just gonna move it to a completely different area until we need it because there's nothing over here we're gonna be really using for carbon and i want to leave a little bit of space in here just in case maybe we do need more smelters but i mean that's basically the processing of the beginning beginning stuff because we've got i mean everything we've got everything so far so all we need to do is hook up the water hook up the um the smelters and then get another warehouse in here for processed stuff and then we should be good for now let's go and throw some more solar panels up in here too as many as we can Ooh, actually get quite a few this time very nice look at all those solar panels oh i love them i like i like this because it just kind of like makes the whole thing look nicer uh we're gonna be doing them on the bottom too for sure 
but I like that. Looks good. Looks fancy. Um, oh, actually, speaking of, we can go ahead and throw these in there. How's this looking? Let's go ahead and grab all that. Because we have to go from bars to plates and then plates to wire. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get the rest of these hooked up here. So I did go ahead and put a filter block on here. So actually, this one should hook those up. Oh, I didn't put the, um, hold on. We need to get the splitter right there. And then we go ahead and zero this side out. So this should be 50, 50. Fantastic. Um, I already put the splitters here. So those should work. And then all we need to do is connect these up. And voila, they should be good because those are going to go out there. Those are going to go out there. That's going to go into here. And what's really nice about these base warehouses is that once there's items in there, you can utilize the items in the warehouse without having to have them in your inventory to do like base building stuff. So super nice. There goes all of these. They're all going to get going. Um, they are probably, yeah, sufficiently underpowered right now, which is okay. Which is fine fine now the next question is do we want to go ahead and just throw the oxygen production you know what let's just go ahead and throw the oxygen production right here as well because all we need is really the water and the power all right so we're gonna throw one there let's go ahead let's grab our cells where's utilities let's grab a water pipe that up and then let's grab ourselves some cable get that powered up and then that is going to start generating oxygen tanks fantastic perfect all right that looks good and that is gonna pretty much end it um i am already like probably way longer than i'm supposed to be episode wise let's get these on here let's get that on there that's gonna help power a little bit 36% fantastic awesome but that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already what do you guys think so far about the ship i know it's just it's very blocky it's it'll get there we'll fix it up we'll make it look nice over time but we got to get the frame we got to get the bones the structure made and um, yeah this is I'm, I'm liking this so this is i think basically what we're gonna have in each wing this is gonna be the primary processing area for all basic resources they're gonna get turned into ingots and then from the ingots we're gonna ship them out into this bigger area right in here where we can then turn them into you know other items and other things now is there gonna be enough room i hope so i think and, uh, and because of like how much room that we're gonna probably need i'm actually thinking we're probably gonna use the bottom here so the human area the humans will have this front area and then possibly the top area if they don't need the top area we might actually use both these areas for our production and just try to keep all the human stuff in here because they do have to like walk around from place to place so it'd be nice to just have all their stuff nice and compact together so we might actually do that we might actually just double layer their stuff too so we'll see but uh yeah thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye everybody